This tutorial will teach you how to generate bill of materials, or POM, using material and hardware replacement in Woodwork for Inventor. As an initial model, you can use the results of previous trainings, or you can use the model from a tutorial dataset. During the design phase, it's important to divide parts by their type. For instance, the facades and the body panels. This allows to easily create assemblies without worrying about the real materials at the very beginning. On the other hand, in the BOM you must have right names and codes of the materials as well as precise amounts. Woodwork benefits from generalized materials, which significantly simplifies the design process. At the same time, it allows you to get precise specification using material and hardware replacement tool. To generate a bill of materials suitable for woodworkers, we use our own BOM generator, which understands the edge bending, veneers, multi-layer parts, and other nuances related with woodworking. For bill of material of an inventor, all the boards is like a single part. However, for woodworkers, each panel is like a small assembly made from main material covered by some veneer and edge bending. First of all, what you see on the screen, this is the structured bone, which shows you the structure of an assembly as well as the structure of each single part. As you can see, if I expand some components, they are shown as they would be a small assemblies. In fact, they is because they are made from some main material which is covered by some edge bandings and veneers. So now it's time to set real materials and define the hardware set. To do this, we need to go to replace configuration, and here we can create our new material replacement scheme. Let's name it like tutorial. Parts in woodworking are defined by their appearance and materials. Both of them have the code and the name. Some of the parts have no appearance, as for instance the MDF, because this is the raw material which looks as it is. There are two ways to define appearance code and appearance name. First of all, you can type them manually. Or, what is the more convenient way, we can bin them with some Excel document. This Excel document can be gathered from an ERP system, or you can just type the list of your materials. All you need to do is just click on the small Excel sign, and now we need to pick an Excel document. By default, this Excel document is located in your project folder, in a samples, and there is replacement data. As you can see, there is two replacement sources for the materials and for the hardware. So once we pick the document, we need to choose which tab contains the data. In this case, this is the material tab. Now we need to bind the appearance image, appearance code, and the name with appropriate columns in the Excel document. So appearance image contains the path to some texture file, some JPEG file. Now we need to set the column which contains the code and the name of the appearance. Okay, once it's done, we can click close. As you can see, system lists all the data from the Excel document. So now you can pick the right material for you by simply finding this material in the list, or, which is a more convenient way, you can use a filter to find the material you want to use. As you've noticed, on the right part of this window you can see the small preview, which shows you how this material looks like in real life. In some of the cases, we need to also bind the real material code and real material name, but in this case, the appearance of the laminated board is enough for our goals. Now we can map the hardware set. We can create the new hardware set, name it like a tutorial. And now, using the similar approach, we can map the Excel document. This document is located in the replacement data folder, but in this case, in the hardware directory. Once it's opened, we also need to set an image, the code, and the name. And as you can see, system reads the content. But I will skip this step to show you the final result, because once you've done the mapping, your previously saved mappings are stored in the dropdown. So I already have it, and I can just take it from a list. You can just fill all the hardware in the list using the way that I showed you before. If I will leave some components without replacement, for instance those, they will be shown as they use an inventor. So we will have an inventor code and inventor name in our specification. So now we need to pick a template file for data output. 
In this case, I will use metric. The way how the final result looks like depends on the template that you are using. Once it's done, I need to fill the header data. The header data contains the data about, about an order. It is not related with the model itself. So I can just enter the sales order code and the sales order name. I can pick all the parameters related with an order. Now I can ask the system to export data to Excel. By default, the final result will be saved in the same folder where the main assembly is placed. However, if you want, you can place it in another location. Now system analyzes all the materials assigned on the model, taking into consideration all the changes in the workpiece related to the edge bending thickness and position, oversizes, and so on. This is the final result. In the product structure, we have the main structure of our assembly, including the purchased components and as well as the design components. We have no composite parts in our case, but we have a multi-layer desktop. As you can see here, instead of one single part, we have all the workpieces for the desktop. In the complete part list, we have the list of all the parts. Cutting part list allows you to see all the parts growed by their type. If the part has the grain, we have a grain direction marker. So this allows you to know if you should keep the attention to the texture direction during the nesting or not. Material summary allows you to understand how much material you need to bought from your supplier. As well, you can modify the template in that way that system will gather the prime cost for one unit, multiply it by amount, and you will get the prime cost for all your model. The name configuration allows you to see how materials was binded. As you understand, if you need to change the materials, it's enough to only change them in the replace configuration. You don't need to do something in the model. It's a very convenient way in terms of the creating some range of similar furniture in terms of their materials or their hardware set, because you can define the material and the hardware independently. Thank you for watching.